so in this video we will learn about unique ID in a getx so we will start right in here in the get material a first we will have a title for it and in title we will say unique ID after this in a home we will have a scaffold widget as usual a bar and a bar we will have a title and in title we will have a text and in text we will copy this line of code and paste it right in here unique id after this in body there will be center widget and in center there will be child and in child there will be column we will set some properties, main access alignment, set it to center after this cross access alignment, set it to center now children we will get the builder, so right in here get builder right in here there will be controller but we haven't created the controller yet the class we will do that in a while so after this we will go now and create a class for a controller so first we are going to create a file right in the lib and we will name this as a controller dot dart and in here there will be a class name as controller extends and getx controller right in here we will declare a variable name as count initially will be zero after this we are going to have function name as increment and in here we will simply increment the count so right in here count increment and then we will use the update to update the value we will pass the ID later so we haven't created the ID yet we will pass it later in here so after this we will have another function copy this and paste it down add in here we will name this as a decrement we will simply decrement this we are going to pass the ID later because uh, we haven't created it yet so now we will go back to the mentor dot import this file ready there we go now in here we will create the ID so write in here ID and you can give any name in here I'll give counter after this there will be a builder And there will be a controller it basically a type of this class controller so now we will go and create our instance for it right in here in here write controller the class we created before there we go and there will be a type for it as I tell you before and then here get dot put and in here we will have controller the class there we go the instance is created so now we will go down in here we will remove that comma and after this in here 
we will simply return the text and in text we will say something like the value is and then in here dollar sign and in here there will be a, a type of control class right in here right controller and there will be a variable the count that we created before we simply use it here to call upon the value so after this let's do some styling textile there will be font size set it to 20 panel and font weight will be bold after this we will have another builder after this builder right in here get builder and here controller the class and after this we will not use that id the counter in here we will simply just get the builder and in here we will have a, a control type in here return the text we will simply copy this line text from here to here copy it and paste it in here there we go let's close this in here and after this we will have a style and the style text style just simply copy this line and paste it down in here remove that text there we go put a comma in here then close it semicolon there we go come in here come in here so it's all fine so basically we didn't use in here the ID but we use it in here in that guard builder as you guys can see so now we will simply go and we will use that in the control class in the update controller dot dot right in here in the update basically it's taken in an array so in here we will write counter there we go and in here too so it's fine so it will basically update the value and that counter is the ID that we created before and we use it in here in the update so basically in the control that update will update this ID and that ID right in here in the man dot dot and we use it in that get builder as you guys can see in here it will update this and it will not update this because we didn't use the ID counter in here so now we will create a elevated button for it right after this get builder first we will have a size box to create some height between them 10.0 and then there will be elevated button this one will be in this text it will be for increment now we will work in this on press so we will set it to controller the type there we go dot increment there we go 
now we will have another elevated button right after this but first we will create size box just copy this and paste it down in here and then copy this elevated button and paste it down in here and we will change this to decrement there we go and change this also so it's fine so now we will simply go and test the application and see the result so click in here it will take some time just wait for a while there we go so now if I press in here it will only increment this value because we use the ID in here as I told you before and it will not increment this value because we didn't use the ID in here so let's see now there we go and there is also a decrement button you can also decrement the value as you guys can see it's only increment and decrement that value because of the ID counter and it's updating the value fine so that's it for this video we will work further in the next video